Hello, everyone. Susan Gerbic, November, oh gosh, what is it, the 18th, 2022, out of my garden. And I am trying to um, get this apricot tree trimmed back because what's going on is every year it goes way up into the sky and it's it just looks really ungangly. Nothing up there is producing apricots, so... I'm going to get all that trimmed down so that it grows out. Um, and so maybe we can get the energy that is used to produce the stems and the leaves to start maybe producing more apricots because we're having so much trouble. I think only one limb over in that area will produce any apricots each year. And this is a four per. There's four different varieties of apricots on this tree. So um, they've been grafted on. So I don't know... We have had apricots on different limbs, but um, and those limbs are still there and they're still in good shape, but I don't know. This is taking me weeks. I'm still not 100% of my capability before the pandemic when we started laying around more. At least that's what I did, and eating badly. So I used to have a lot more energy and a lot more oomph. So let's look around the garden because I really like chronicling these. I like being able to share my garden with you, hopefully to inspire other people to share their gardens and maybe at least get out in nature a little bit more and enjoy it. So uh, this is definitely not Buffalo, New York. <laughs> this is uh, noon. So it looks like at noon in my area. And let's see what's growing. I also like to look back on these videos months and years later to see what was going on in my garden. It's better than keeping a a journal of some sort, which I'd probably do a couple times and forget. So this is where I normally grow tomatoes. We have some random, it looks like avocados growing in here, probably because we compost so much and some avocados have gotten in and I'm letting them grow. So let's see what happens with that. We do have a few tomatoes still growing. You can see over there, there's a whole bunch coming in. And I transplanted a few tomatoes here. I, I know it's insane, but yes, I'm they're growing up, the volunteers, so I'm putting them out. Okay, back in here, we have, I've gotten rid of this area. There used to be a, a low box right in this area, and I took it out because it was making it really difficult to get to the carrots to plant, and that's what's back in there. We have a bunch of beets. You know, winter, you're supposed to grow carrots and onions and beets, things like that. Carrots and onions and beets, oh my! This little area back in here, some of you may have recognized. It does get a little more sun than it, you would think. And in here, I went to the dollar store and I bought a bunch of seeds for for um, bell peppers. And believe it or not, they, they grew. <laughs> so I have all these bell pepper plants. I'm going to have to move them so they get a little more sun, a little more heat. But they're, they're doing okay. I don't think I've had anything grow any bell peppers, but you know. And then I, there's a whole bunch of volunteers. I just took them and put them into little pots, and I need to move them. Um, more bell peppers. Look at all the onions growing in here. Got some radishes. And more radishes. And what tells? Some broccoli. We need to pick this broccoli. Um, more radishes. Uh, chard. Mark loves his chard, and there's some Brussels sprouts. I need to get those cut off and eaten, I guess. Mark will eat those, not me. Strawberries. Oh, ooh, look, strawberries. Pop that in my mouth. Mm -mm -mm. Petri. I keep cutting it. I'm going to cut it back even further. I've been so disappointed in this peach tree. I don't think I've ever had a peach off of it. And then back in here, <laughs> one of Mark's new finds. Isn't that great? So the grapevine I cut back a year ago, it used to go over the entire um, pergola. And I cut it way back because what it was doing is it just got real woody and grapes couldn't come through. So I cut it back to nothing. We didn't have any grapes this year, but that's okay. It'd probably take another year. But um, I'm really liking not having to have the problems that we had in the past. And the grapes, it needs to be 
cut back every so often. Oh, look, we're being greeted by the queen of the garden. This is Imogen, everybody. Meow, meow, yep. And she's uh, letting us know, welcoming everybody to the garden. <laughs> Here she comes. She says, I want to be where you guys can pay attention to me. She loves getting up on these tables and sleeping. These are her, her places, huh, Em? Yeah, she's a good kitty. She's a very good kitty. All right, so plum tree. I got to get this cut back as well for the same reasons. It's um, growing way too high. I can't really, the plums don't grow up that high anyway, so there's no reason for the tree to get that big. I don't want it to be that big. I want it to be a lower tree. And the easiest way to do that is to get rid of any branches that are going straight up and, and kind of form it. And this is a good time of the year to do it. Same with the cherry tree. It's never really gotten big and we don't get a lot of cherries off of it. But I want to get rid of some of these upper branches and try to make it more, uh, form it into something a little bit more usable. Uh, second lens is doing amazing. They We had some rain. So now you're getting a lot of sunshine and they're just thrilled. Oh, look what I did the other day, yesterday, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. This is dripping, drip, 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 for ages. And I put a bucket underneath it and it was dripping about a bucket of day, five gallon bucket. So I went out and with my neighbor's help and Mark's help, we got the, got it all fixed. Oh, look, look what's here. Oh, look, you guys, Narcissus. I bet they smell amazing. Oh, geez, what a beautiful smell. So, Narcissus thinks it's spring. Mm -hmm. Imogen's decided to join us again. Hello, Em. But look at those Narcissus. Oh, gosh, aren't they beautiful? I think they're called paper white. And I have all over the garden different kinds of um, uh, uh, bulbs planted. I don't even know where they are half the time. And they'll just pop up every once in a while. Imogen's very upset that I am not petting her. All right. So, yeah, look at that. I didn't even notice that. That I don't remember that being there yesterday, but I guess it's there. Um, over in this garden, I think I'm going to get rid of my blackberries. They just, oh, they just spend all their time being woody and, and so on. I can't take them out of those pots if you put them in the ground. And the last thing you know, I mean, they're everywhere. I mean, even now, just growing through the pot, they, they go everywhere. They're delicious, but I can't get more than maybe um, five a week or something to grow. So I think I'm going to get rid of them. I'm really sad, but I mean, they never made it in the house anyway. I'd always just eat them off of the, off of the vine. we got more onions and chard and some more tomatoes growing over there. Um, hopefully, I'll get my front yard done someday. And if so, I'm going to probably put the lemons out there. Uh, these are not our lemons. These are oranges. They smell just amazing whenever they're blossoming. A hydrangea. And another, another orange tree. So thank you guys for coming out and hanging out with me for a little bit. I think I'm going to go and get something to eat. Imogen. Yep. Um wants to go and help me out with something to eat in the house, I guess. I've been listening to the Skeptic Zone, getting all caught up um, on uh, the sad news about uh, Kenneth Frazier, who is a friend of mine and very sad news. Um, we, um, I was just talking to somebody today, Stuart Weiss, and we were talking about how important it is to keep finding more and more people who are the doers of the community, the people who want to do more, who volunteer, who hand, whose hand goes up and they follow through. We, we um, just need generations of people to keep coming in place. Um, and, uh, you know, not necessarily to replace people, but we, we need to keep expanding. So it's important that uh, we remember to mentor, to find new talent, to support that talent and, uh, help it grow. And um, I hope you guys all know that I'm out there advocating for you. If if I can lend my little bit of skill or talent or influence, I would gladly do so. 
All right. So Imogen and I are going to go inside. Hi, huh, Em? You done? She's going to find a nice spot. She's found a spot in the shade. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy your gardens. Do something worthwhile today.